Previously on Money Task. We ended up dying, and of course, I didn't record it. Well, there goes the hardcore. I don't even know how I died. I don't even have it recorded. But I died at the Banshee. Oh my god. I can't believe that's how I died. We then moved on to Morgers after finishing our Slayer level that we needed and got the Mud Skipper hat. There we go. Mud Skipper hat. After that, we moved on, got our first piece of Graceful, which is always big for a low level Iron Man. There is Grace. Let's go over, make sure we buy the legs. Yep, 60 marks of Grace, and there it is. And here's the five collection log slots that we ended up getting. I know we didn't do a lot of progress, but today we got a banger, which leaves us with a new task of getting a big swordfish. All right, let's go to the task dashboard and complete that task. And here we go. And let's generate a new one. A big swordfish, you know, fishing just will always be with us. That's our go to. All right, so the plan real quick is we're going to buy a fishing pie at the Cook's Guild. So we can just plus boost and we'll just chill on the fishing guild the whole time while we grind for this big swordfish. Here we go. Just bought the fish pie that will be able to boost us because we need 68 fishing for the fish guild. I want to see what kind of clues we have in here. If it's just a hard and a master, we won't do them. Yeah, we're not going to do those at this time. There we go. We are now in the fish guild. We will be staying here until we get 68 fishing. In case we get any clues or anything like that, uh, we can leave and then come back in without having to boost. Okay, so the big swordfish just like the big bass, is a 1 in 2,500 drop rate for any swordfish that we do catch. Of course, we have another chance of catching tuna at the same time. Well, we will be keeping both of them in case we need to get any cooking levels in the future. So we will be banking everything. You know the rules. You know my luck. Let's hope we don't go dry. Here is our fish count of what we're starting off with. We have 49 swordfish in here and of course 5 tuna. I'm also going to reset my fishing counter so we can see how much total XP we do get from this grind. There we go. It is set to zero. There we go. Our first fishing level of this grind. That is 68 fishing. We can now obviously enter the fishing guild. But yeah, this is so much better than catching bass just because we don't have to drop anything and it's just super AFK. Currently getting around 25,000 XP per hour. So it's just a little better than bass. But yeah, super AFK, and we're up to 53,000 XP so far. Nice. With this inventory, we are going to be passing the halfway point on the big swordfish. Hoping we get it before that 2500 would be nice to get something beforehand for once, but... We will see. Another level coming in here. 71 fishing. We can now use crystal harpoons. Too bad we don't have one, but still going strong. You know, we're about 10 plus hours into this grind so far. We'll do all the math once we do get the item, hopefully soon. Alrighty, another herb lower level coming in. I feel like a chunk man account since all we're doing is lamping here at the moment, but there we go. That is seven herb lower. Seventy-two fishing, still going strong. That's big vibes, big chilling vibes. Get time to edit, do all the good things that I need to be done. Seventy-three fishing coming in there. We we just passed twenty-five hundred swordfish. I know we started with like thirty or forty, so we're not totally there yet. I'm sure we're gonna pass it anyways, but. Right now we're going to take a break and start doing some quests. I know we're going to try it and do making history so we can knock that out. That's going to be useful for our beginners and masters when we eventually get to that point. I guess we can get it from Jorah, but I'm just going to do a making history. There we go. Goblin diplomacy completed. A gold bar is what we needed for that amulet. Now we can do that quest. Also 28 crafting from that quest as well. Let's go do making history now. Should be the end of the making history quest. Boom, 1,000 prayer, 1,000 crafting. 
Not bad at all. Free prayer level and craft. Let's go get our strange device from the guy in Verrock. Seventy-four fishing. Guess I'll just see you at seventy-five. At least we're getting closer and closer to being able to fish shark. Guess that's the only positive at the moment. I know that shark's gonna probably take a full week to get. If he probably more. Seventy-five fishing. Just like I said, I told you. I guess we're gonna go to seventy-six. Finally, we get another random event that we haven't done yet. The Leader Hoshin Shorts. Alright, this inventory is going to be 4,000 swordfish. A thousand more. We are double the drop rate already. For you, it's a short amount of time. For me, it's a very long time. We are 30 plus hours in, I believe. I'll add everything up at the end of this repetitive clips and everything but this is honestly the only thing i can do at the moment i think got, i've gotten maybe one more beginner clue since the last one that's it for the clue standpoint so it's kind of shitty intertwined clips at all but we'll power through and get this big swordfish asap oh my god 76 fishing we can now harpoon sharks unfortunately now that we've made it here can we please just give a drop that's all i ask i just want the drop and we can leave and do something else all right, I'm about to get six hour log today. I've probably done 10 hours of just fishing alone today. It's just straight, not straight. I had a little break in between, but we're up to 4,500 swordfish. We fished 3,000 fish today at an average of, yes, yeah, so 10 hours, 10 hours today. And we've been here for a while. This is day four of fishing tuna and swordfish straight. We've been here most of the time. We did a couple clues here and there. I haven't got many clues. I wish we could get more clues and just knock those out, but Mix up the content, but it's totally fine. Another fishing level coming in. 77 fishing. Well, we have done it. We have passed the 5k swordfish mark, meaning we are double the rate once again on a fishing conquest. We also have 5,600 tunas. I mean, this is a shit ton of fucking XP when we do get around to it. And this will help us get Barrel's Glove super easy just because of all the fish we already have. But I'm ready to be done, man. Let's just get this item and go. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yes. That was like not too much later after the 5,000. Dude, I'm just over here editing. And it just pops up on the collection log. Oh my God. It's over. Our fishing endures are over. That's big for the account, baby. Wow, that took a long time. I'm gonna do some quick math here and estimate how long that approximately took me. All right, some quick calculations. We gained 953,378 XP and approximately 25,000 fishing XP per hour, giving us a total of 38 hours on this grind alone to get the big swordfish, of course. We gained a 5,000 raw swordfish 5,600 raw tuna. This fish ends up getting us close to, if we don't fail, of course, but we're going to fail and burn them. But this, these fish give us 1.2 million cooking XP, which should be more than enough for our 70 cooking, of course. It's perfect. That'll get us the barrels gloves when we need to. But there we go. That was our 40th collection log. Let's go to it, complete it. I'm ready to move on, man. Oh, oh. Let me complete that real quick. And let's generate a new task. We need cash really bad, so... Ooh, a green satchel. That shouldn't be too hard to get and be a nice a quick task. All right, so a green satchel is pretty simple. It's a 1 in 6.6 .6 drop rate from the unicows. So we're going to need to collect unicorn horns and cow hides. So I'm going to go collect probably an inventory full of those. And then we'll see you at the Tower of Life. Already three strength. 28 prayer. Should be the last of our levels while hunting this log. But this should be all the unicorn horns we need because they do drop unicorn horns on their own. So I don't believe they're noted. 
If they are, that's kind of crappy, but we're going to head back to Artie and get our inventory set up for this grind, which hopefully is one or two kills. All right, we're at the altar. Let's activate this bad boy and start killing the unicow. Yeah, as you can see, it drops unicorn horns, so I might have brought too many to begin with anyways. But I brought 10 cow hides to start. Hopefully we get it within this 10. Oh, second kill. Apparently all our luck is just stored in these where we just perfectly get them before it happens. There we go. Collection log slot completed. Head to a bank and get our inventory set up and roll the next one. Here we are. We are at the bank. I'm hoping we pull a money task because we need money bad. Here we go. Give us something. A unique from Shades of Morton. Oh man, this is going to be rough without tech from melee. But we're going to go to the cooking range. We're going to cook a bunch of food because we need food bad. So I'm going to go to Hosidius. Alright, we've made it. So we're going to just probably cook all the trout and all the salmon. Probably some of the bass because it's a higher level. And let's see what kind of fish... Uh, cooking level we can get. It should be a decent level. Bro, I forgot this new update came out, so I'm still learning, but the fact that you need to do the easy diary to use this now instead of just having Hosidious favor is very annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Especially when I have to walk everywhere. Alright, looks like we're just going to burn a crap ton at the Rogue's Den fire. It's kind of frustrating that I did all that favor and then of course I don't even get to use it because they got rid of it. Alright, let's get to cooking. I'm sure we're going to burn a shit ton now. Also, for the Shades of Morton mini game, we're going to have to do the Shades of Morton quest, of course. And that requires 15 herb lore. I think we should have enough of that XP banked in our bank. I know we got a crap ton of herbs from the Banshees, so... We are already seven herblore. We're going to probably have to cut some oak logs, bank those logs, because we're going to use oak logs as our prior logs. And then we're going to get keys and do the rest. But there's our first cooking level, 33. Also, got a mystery box during cooking. Let's see if we can pull the steel baguette. Ooh, an easy clue. We'll take that, we'll take that. Hey, that's 40. Trout got us all the way to 43 cooking, and we have 595 cooked trout. We're gonna cook the rest of the salmon, shouldn't take too long. It should get us a couple more levels, and a few of the bass. We'll probably get to like 50 cooking, I think would be a good time to stop. All right, there we go. That's 50 cooking. We're gonna chill off for now. Now let's get 15 herb lore. There's the first level. Well, now we're broke. I accidentally had the buy 50 set on those, so we spent our whole cash stack and we we're only able to get one pile of water, so. Thirteen, we might the strength potions might do it for us. It's gonna be close. There's fourteen. Beautiful. There we go. 15 herb lore. Four shades of Morton. Yep, we can make the serum 207s. This quest will actually be huge for getting to Mortania just because of the mini game teleport. Because right now I have no way to get to Mortania. That should be the end of the quest as soon as I use this potion on this dude. Let me do it real quick. There we go. Should be quest completed after this. Boom. A nice little 30 crafting and a Horse. 20 herbal, that's big time. We did get one bronze key from doing that quest. However, I've never I've never done this before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some shade remains, go get the chat the chest that holds all the shade remains as well. Let me just open one real quick, because we already have this key. What is it? A brown key. Ah, nothing good, nothing good. Alright, let's go collect some shade remains and Somehow repair this broken coffin, I've never done it, so... So I'm looking here, I think we just have to add a certain kind of lock, or whatever lock that we get to it. 
Hey, we somehow did get a crafting level. There's 31. Just repairing the walls. They definitely nerfed the XP here. It used to be nasty, I think. But in our sacred oil, this inventory should be enough for at least one clog, I believe. So we're going to be big chilling. All right. We got two, four, six bronze keys. Let's see if we can pull anything from the log. I have no idea what the drop rates are. I'm not just going in, you know. All right, here we go. Nothing to start. Nothing. 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 Crimson? Is it crimson? Well, we unfortunately didn't get anything, but we're going to have to do some more. So apparently the only thing I can get from the bronze chest is the bronze locks, which is a 1 in 60 read drop rate. Oh, 84 strength coming in. And 54 combat, just from uh, trying to get these shade remains. Alright, we got a bunch more steel keys now. Decided to upgrade them. I think there's a 1 in 2 chance, if I'm correct. I'm getting a flame tier bag, so that should be our collection log, I'm hoping. Let's see what we can pull. Here we go. Flame tier bag. I don't even know how to say that. Ooh, and an amulet of strength. I think that's our best in slot. There we go. Collection lock slot completed from this mini game. Let's get on out of here. Now we can save these keys and use them in the next time around. All right, while we wait for our mini game teleport, because I don't have a teleport, I'm poor, all right? Let's complete this task. I swear to God, if that shade hits me. Oh my God, dude. I can't catch a break from him. Leave me alone. I believe we completed that task. Yep, let's generate a new one. See what we can pull. <gasps> a unique from the no mesh start. I believe we just got our cooking level up. Now let's collect some steel plate legs, make some cash, and then we'll move on with this task because we need cash, but I'm tired of sitting on less than 10k. That's a decent cash check, I would say. Now let's go do this mini game. This is a mini game I'm not the biggest fan of. More so because I don't like making the ingredients, but um, there's four different uniques we can get. In order to speed this up and make it just a little quicker, we're going to be doing the Grand Tree. So we can actually use this Spirit Tree and travel to wherever we need to go. I'm just going to speed things up. I'm allowed to do stuff to speed up tasks and make them quicker, if that makes any sense. Let's complete it. Grand Tree. 47 agility from that. And 46 hit points. Giving us the 800 total level. Not bad at all. So I'm going to quickly explain how to do Gnome Restaurant. First, you must do the tutorial for both making the food and making the drinks. Then, after a few contracts, you will get this reward token as shown on the screen. In order to unlock and choose whichever contracts that you want to do, you must complete 40 hard deliveries. Each hard contract equals 3 points, which adds up to a total of 120 points needed to fill the reward token, which allows you, of course, to be able to choose whichever hard contract that you want. If you can't complete one of the hard contracts, which I can't a lot of the times, I have to wait a total of five minutes before all of that stuff. There's only six gnomes that can offer you the collection log items. Some can offer some of the items and some can't. These six are Captain Nito, Captain Derkin, Wingstone, Henwe, Graham Brickle, and Professor Mango Throw. For my account, we can't even do two of these six, those being Brambrickle and Professor Mangothrope. We're also using a Chronicle to teleport to Varrock to walk all the way to the Gnome Strong Hotel -y in uh, the Grand Exchange. Hey, we just completed a medium task by doing that. Not too bad on the first run. This should be our 40th turn in for this Gnome Rush on mini game. Can we get lucky with this guy? No, of course we can't. This task has been a rough one for me so far. We have to walk everywhere. We don't have some of the quests unlocked. All right, this is the text you should get when uh, you are you are able to choose what you want.
Wow. Just got a cooking level from doing this. Was not expecting that, but there's 51 cooking. And I believe this bird's nest is rarer than any of the collection logs, so that's awesome. Dude, all we get is tooth halves, which is rarer than the items we need. Why does this always happen to this account? It's crazy. We're about to hit the drop rate of an item already. So we are pretty much dry. I think we've done a few over the 16 mark. Like 16 is the highest, and I think the other uniques are 12. Officially dry for an item so far. We've easily spent 10 plus hours on this task alone. And of course, in the very next delivery, we end up getting the gnome goggles. It took us 56 tries. It was a long grind for some reason. I try, I'm trying my very best. For some reason, I don't have this recorded at all. There's literally a 10 minute window between this last clip and the next clip coming up. And for some reason, I can't find that window. I must just stop recording and wasn't recording that whole time. So sorry for about that. Yeah, I'm glad we got this out of the way. And of course, let's roll a new task. All right, as you saw, we completed that last task. Now we shall generate a new one and see what we can pull. Hey, unique from Temporos. Go into our Temporos log and see what we have up there. We have one reward claimed and one Temporos kill. So if we don't get any of the uniques, I'm hoping we get the fish barrel, of course. Um, We do have the angler waters, so we could get that once we get enough spirit flakes that's of course if we go dry for that i'm hoping we don't do that we pull the fish barrel or spoon maybe the tome of water that would be kind of big as well let's go down there i think we have three or four searches left in there so we can go search those and then we'll start our grind let's see what we got we got three searches we spoon something in three searches that would be kind of nasty we did <laughs> i forgot about the soaked pages and we got that. Let's go. I wasn't even expecting that. I totally forgot about the soak pages. Perfect. Well, back to back. We've done two searches. We've gone two of them. I don't know how many searches we've done, but still. That's awesome. We can complete that test now. Wish we would get more fishing XP, but you know, our, we'll probably pull another temper off just because of our fishing luck and what tasks we get. But here we go. Let's complete that task and generate a new one. Ooh, a Halo from Castle Wars. I'm excited to do this one. It's super AFK. And it'll be kind of cool to have on our account. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed. It was a long one, man. We ended up having over 50 hours of progress in this episode for pretty much two collection log slots that being the big swordfish and the gnome goggles i hope you enjoyed this episode we gained six more collection log slots and the more levels we get the faster we're going to end up progressing and the quicker we get these logs especially early on yeah, leave a like comment subscribe have a blessed day make sure you check out the beginning of this series as well i do have a whole playlist if you want to do that and i'll see you later